Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malewski, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat today, from the land down under right now, is Binu Aurora, and he is the co-founder and CEO of an amazing company. It's not the stock exchange, so I'll let you tell us the name, but it's cyber and something to do with a bull. Did I get it right? It's Cybul? That is correct, Gary. So I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Cybul, Binu Aurora. Okay, so Bino Aurora is the co-founder and CEO of Cybul, but it's actually C-Y-B-L-E. It's not C-Y-B-U-L-L, it's C-Y-B-L-E. So Binu, um, you guys are a SaaS company first and a cybersecurity company second, which is a rare thing. Tell us what you do. Are you doing big data mining, data lakes, all this stuff in the cloud, stretchable like elastic networking? Tell us about the SaaS side and then tell us about the cybersecurity side. Absolutely. I mean, Gary, our mission is to empower the organizations with the dark web and cybercrime monitoring and mitigation services. The focus is obviously to go on the, the deepest corner of the internet uh, and collect information at the earlier stages, enrich the information using our machine learning models, and then proactively notify organizations or the industry in some cases about the potential or the imminent threats. At the heart of Cybul, we are a very large data warehouse, data analytics company. So processing terabytes of data on a single, on every day. I mean, the new data which you're talking about here. And the intent is to obviously stay ahead of the curve, making sure that we're able to collect information about the potential threats as early as possible. So organizations have enough time to you know, protect or mitigate against those threats. So Bino, you're, you're talking about threat uh, detection and analysis by leveraging data lakes or big big file share cloud capability by spying on the bad guys, going into the dark web, uh, looking at what they're up to in real time? Is this real time? Exactly, Gary. So we have you know a, a multiple phase approach on how we actually collect information all the way from the typical good old scraping to all the way to bots, sensors, and even intercepting the conversations in various channels. The intent is obviously is to make sure that we are positioning our customer in a way that they are better equipped with the potential threats coming into the environment. And uh, I think that's where really the, the biggest value we create for them. Now, let's say I'm an important executive. Maybe I run a media company, I don't know, but let's pretend I'm an important executive. I don't know, let's say it's CNN or Fox or somebody big and they run a media company and people have been deep faking them all over the internet and, and uh, thinking that they're foolish enough to fall for it or others are going to fall for, you know, the voice, the face, uh, the AI. Is this the future? Are you going to find this kind of stuff on the dark web or just credit cards, social security? Info? What, what are you finding that's kind of next gen and how are you handling that? So the deep fakes or deep voice, I mean, all this potential, I mean, these all cyber crime tools, I mean, they are not the future. They are actually the present. There actually have been a number of you know, massive scams, like one of the scams which happened in the UK, for an example, where somebody was able to impersonate using AI on the global CEO voice and able to do a large fire fraud. And I think the, uh, the focus for us, I mean, as an as organization, is to under understand those evolving and emerging threats and understand the TDPs and how these potential threat variants are changing over time. And I think uh, at the heart of it, what we have observed, even in the dark web, when we are monitoring for different cyber criminals as well, we see that those guys are actually quite well-educated engineers who understands how to break into a network and so forth. And they're also using similar technologies like what cybersecurity companies like us are doing. So use of AI when we on the defense side or the defender side are using it to analyze the signals and trying to come up with some, uh, you know, you know, hypothesis on what the next thing is going to be, that's, that's the next thing going to happen. Those guys are using this exact same tools. They're using even, in some cases, using the AI technology sitting in the cloud environment, which is pretty much democratized now, to conduct or advance data attacks into the environment. So there is not actually a huge difference, uh, to be very, very specific here, in terms of the skill set, the resources, as well as their perseverance when it comes to engaging or doing a cyber attack on a large organization. And there are a number of evidences at the moment. So, Bino, you have a great uh, college background, I think with one of your co-founders, if you want to share that. And I think that was the genesis of this really brilliant idea. And then I'd love to hear 
you know, what are the three products you're offering or are they services or products? And I think one of them, I think is like, have I been hacked or am I hacked or am I breached? Something really cool that we could tell our viewers and listeners to check out right away. And I'd love to know, is it for small, medium, large? Is it government? Who's the, who's the sweet spot? So we, let's sure. unfold those questions because it's an exciting story about the genesis of your company and really what you've got going on and the three products and then, you know, or services, you've got to explain to our viewers and listeners who are probably CISOs or CISOs, the buying community. And I, I think they need to know more about you. Absolutely. I mean, Cyber as a company was a thesis uh, which Manish and I worked upon when we were at Columbia Business School in New York. That's where we did our MBA from. You, get, and, you did uh, your MBA at Columbia? That is correct. So that's C- CBS. You were at CBS. Yes, that is correct. I knew it. I knew um, you were a TV guy. CBS, Columbia Business School. Thank you, Gary. And it was a thesis at that point uh, and eventually evolved to a company and to a number of products after we found there was a pretty interesting market, a market traction. The first product, which is uh, on the Cyber Vision, which we offer in the marketplace, uh, it's targeted towards the large enterprise customers who actually have a security operations capability within the, within the, within, in-house. And most of these organizations uh, are looking for you know, help from organizations like Cybo on how they can proactively go track, analyze, or even neutralize potential cyber threats on the surface web, deep in the dark web. Uh, that was the kind of uh, you know, the first product which we came in the market last year in March. And now we serve it to over 60 large enterprise customers. Most of them are actually Fortune 500 companies as well. And then uh, MI Breach was a, is a result of, uh, we want to you know, make sure that we have some channel available for the consumer so that they can also use our data lakes to better be prepared personally if something goes wrong with their identities. Identity thefts are one of the biggest uh, issues in the US, but across many other countries in the world. You know, hold uh, on, hold on. Uh, it's B- Binu Aurora, who's the, the co-founder and CEO of uh, Cybel, C-Y-B-L-E, at Cybel.com, I can go try this out and be anybody. I don't have to be a government agency or Fortune 500 or, you know, big company. Tell us the URL and tell us what it does. This sounds amazing for our viewers and our listeners. Absolutely, Gary. So the URL, so you can go to Cybel.com. You will see amibreached.com web page over there, which is amibreached.com. And then you can go and just start searching off, uh, you know, any information. We allow searches for free without showing them the results. But once you log in, you will only see information related to you. Unfortunately, I mean, I mean, internally we do a lot of experimentations using deep learning algorithms to better understand what's the risk profile of the general population looks like. And it may sound a bit unfortunate, but almost a billion people, personal information, all the way from just a plain straight password, which is not much of use to all of their personal PI, along with your latitude information, it's over a billion people which are currently affected by it. And the risk is actually increasing every day, purely because of the fact that a lot of these online services which are currently out there, people are willingly and freely sharing the information. Sometimes they don't even know <laughs> the information has been collected. Yeah, because guess what? Uh, the hackers are after everything. They're after the cloud, they're after our sessions, they want our identities, they want our passwords, and you're gonna help stop uh, them in their tracks by getting one step ahead of them. So the URL is just mibreach.com. You can just go in there, register there for free, and you can start seeing the the different sources where your information is available. Uh, We will release uh, a code for exclusively for for your uh, viewers to make sure they can use the service for free for 12 months. Well, months for free, because I was going to ask you if we could stop the Scrooge or the Cyber Grinch from stealing our cookies. And you're saying we're going to get a 12 month opportunity to figure that out if it's happened. Absolutely. And we have over 75,000 users in the last 12 months, which we have people are coming to us. And the majority of our uh, enterprise cell uh, is coming through this channel. So, I mean, some of the largest companies who came to Cybo and we wanted to partner with us. They already tested at mybreach.com. And then they said, okay, this probably, you know, her company has got something interesting. So why don't we go and look at what else they have got? Fantastic. Great interview. We learned a lot, folks. You're already breached. Accept it. Type in cyble.com. Find your resource there and get moving because time is of the essence. And then come back next time for another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. 
Cyber Defense TV and Cyber Defense Radio have launched 24 by 7 by 365 live streams. Visit them online today at cyberdefense.tv and cyberdefense.radio with your host and globally recognized cybersecurity expert and my good friend, Gary Malewski.